An ESPN investigation found health inspectors are hitting Major League Baseball stadiums hard with food safety violations for everything from rodents to unclean kitchens and unclean workers. We wanted to know how Isotopes Ballpark is doing. So News 13's Rachel Knapp sifted through the city's health inspections. Here's what she found. I bought a Philly cheesesteak sandwich and like there's like a nacho bowl supreme. It was, like, it was pretty big. Locals say grabbing a bite to eat at an Isotopes game is part of the fun. We sell a lot of margaritas, believe it or not. Recently, ESPN's Outside the Lines reviewed the food safety inspection reports for every Major League Baseball team and found a lot of teams have serious health code violations at a lot of their concession stands. They didn't do the minor leagues, so we checked out the city of Albuquerque's health inspection records of the concession stands at Isotopes Park. The park scored well. We always do very well here with our inspections, mainly because we hold our people to a very high standard. According to the city's food inspection results, all vendors at Isotopes Park passed their last couple inspections, with only a few hiccups. The batter's up stand was called out for ineffective cleaning methods for food surfaces, and the kitchen for the luxury suites was dinged for staff not washing their hands correctly or often enough. I mean, it's all about the experience here, and if you have a negative food experience, that, that ruins everything. We did notice that the city's health inspectors are behind. They haven't been to Isotopes Park since April 2017. The city's own website says restaurants should be inspected at least twice a year. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. According to the ESPN investigation, Yankee Stadium had the highest number of serious health code violations at its concessions. Coors Field in Denver, the home of the Colorado Rockies, had the second worst score. We also tried to check the food inspection records for the Pitt and University Stadium, but the state handles those because they're on UNM property. Unlike the city, the state does not make its health inspection records available online.